Hello everyone. In this session, we will be discussing a transpose example. So let's get started. This session will be a very short one. So we're just having one or two slides. So yeah, let's finish it fast. So we're given a matrix here, which is minus five, three, one, zero, two, minus two, zero, one, minus four, zero, two, three, zero, minus four, two, and five respectively. And we need to find the transpose of this matrix. So let's go ahead and represent this matrix so that we can find the transpose of this matrix. The annotation form of representing a matrix to find its transpose is basically you write the matrix and then you put a T on top, not quite here. So this means that we are finding the transpose of matrix. So to find the transpose of the matrix, all you do is you replace all the row entries with the column entries. So for instance, your first row will be replaced with the entries in the first column. Your second row will be replaced with the entries in the second column. The third row will be replaced with the entries in the third column and your fourth row will be replaced with the entries in the fourth column. If you have more number of rows and columns, we'll just go ahead and keep doing that. So you're just interchanging the rows with the columns in short. So what is the transpose of this matrix? So the, the values that we have in the first row equals minus 5, 3, 1, 0. We'll replace it with the entries in the first column, which is minus 5, 2, minus 4, 0. So this is my first row entries. The second row entries in my original matrix is 2, minus 2, 0, 1. We'll replace it with the entries in the second column, which is 3, minus 2, 0, minus 4. These are my second row entries in the transpose matrix. Now the values in the third row in the original matrix equals minus 4, 0, 2, 3. We'll replace it with the entries in the third column, which is 1, 0, 2, and 2. Then the last row, the entries in the original matrix equals 0, minus 4, 2, 5. Let's go ahead and change it with the entries in the last column, which equals 0, 1, 3, and 5, respectively. So this is how we solve for a matrix transpose. If you have any questions, just feel free to write them in the comment section. And yeah, that's all. That's pretty much it. Thank you.